हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज कैम्ब्रिज आईजीसीएससी मैथमेटिक्स पेपर वन कोड इज जीरो फाइव एट जीरो वन टू दिस पेपर इज फ्रॉम अक्टूबर नवंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन राइट सो दीज आर द इंस्ट्रक्शंस यू कैन हैव स्क्रीनशॉट एंड देन यू कैन गो थ्रू दैट सो टाइम टू कम्प्लीट टू दिस पेपर इज एन आवर सो लेट स्टार्ट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू गाइज to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much those who have already subscribed and thank you so much for your support so let's start question 1 part a write the number 400000 and 400 in figures so 400000 so we have one stands hundreds 1000 10000 100000 so we have this is thousands place uh, so we have 400000 400000 and 400 so this will be the answer for this one uh, so it is 400 and like this part b write this Uh, sixty thousand two hundred and eighty-seven correct to nearest ten. So this is ones. This is tens place here. So this number is greater than five. So we are going to add one here. So this will be sixty thousand two hundred and ninety. So this will become sixty two hundred and ninety. Right now, find the value of square root of three forty-five point nine six. You can directly use calculator for this one. So this is three hundred and sorry for square root of three hundred and forty five point nine six. So this is eighteen point six. So our answer is eighteen point six here. Simple. Now number three. Write down the mathematical name of this type of angle. So you can see this angle is less than ninety. So this is an acute angle. So this is acute angle. Now write nine percent as decimal. So as decimal nine over hundred. Nine over hundred it will be zero point zero nine. Simple. Now write zero point six as fraction in its simplest form. So this can be written as zero point six. When you remove the decimal, it will become six over ten. Right now, divide by two, two times three, two times five. So it is three over five. So final answer is going to be three over five. Question five: Write reciprocal of twenty. So reciprocal of twenty, twenty uh, can be written as like twenty over one. So then the reciprocal will be one over twenty. Okay. Now number six. Write down the order of rotational symmetry of a rectangle. So we have rectangle here, right? Like this. So you can use tracing paper for that to know that if it is like what is the rotational symmetry here. So if I trace this triangle like uh, sorry rectangle like this, so let's say uh, this is our star here. I always say so we will come back here uh, to 360 turn. Then we will see how many times we are going to get the same shape, right? So um, let's move once. So when you move this once, no, then You got one. Here we have once the same shape, but star is here. We need to have star on this side. So then again, next turn, two seventy, and again when you come back here, so you get twice, two times you get the same shape. So that means order of rotational symmetry is two, right? Uh, now, in part B, you have this triangle here. Uh, draw all line of symmetry on the this equilateral triangle. So lines of symmetry you can use. Ruler. There should be three uh, lines of symmetry from here because this is an equilateral triangle. So all the line of symmetry will go from this side. In the middle, on the other side, 
then the third one will come over here like this okay now we have this question number seven for construction in triangle abc ab7 bc is 5.6 using ruler and compass only construct triangle abc leave the construction arc so whatever you uh, lines you use you need not to drop that one so uh, let's start this one so we are given one line ac over here uh, we have to they take the other one ab is 7 so and bc is 5.6 ab is 7 so i will open this compass 7 centimeters from here like this okay then draw an arc from point a you can make bigger arc because you don't know where will you uh, get the other one and bc so a so that means b point is coming somewhere here this side so bc is 5.6 now open it 5.6 5.6 is here so you can increase here this is 5.6 so from c going to draw you see now this our previous arc is shorter so that means we can increase this one again that arc so you should always draw bigger arcs so that like this right so this is our point now so we can just join them to get the diagram here a point your diagram should be neat and clean so go very slowly when you are doing this one to avoid any mistake and doing you know this uh, rubbing again and again so this is your C right so this point is point B so now this AB is 7 centimeter and this is 5.6 centimeter so this is how you can construct a triangle the temperature at midnight is negative 8.5 the temperature at 11 a is negative 1 degree uh, work out the difference between the temperature at midnight uh, and the temperature at 11 am so whenever you are doing uh, this temperature question you need to be careful right uh, think it practically so at uh, midnight temperature is 8 point negative 8.5 right and uh, at 11 am this temperature is 1 right and then 0 is here this side so we are looking for this difference so what is this difference here so 8.5 to 1 so that means negative 8.5 minus negative 1 so this will be negative 8.5 plus 1 that is negative 7.5 but we are not writing negative 7.5 here because we are just taking the difference so the difference in total here it is 7.5 so we will just write down 7.5 without the sign okay now uh, nine, number 9 change 0 0.3 meters to centimeter you know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters so we are just going to multiply this by 100 when you multiply 100 3 times 100 it is 300 there is one decimal so we will just put one decimal here so 0 is gone so final answer is 30 ok now uh, number 10 write down the mathematical name of this polygon so and there are we need to count the number of sides 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 5 sided diagram is pentagon so its name is pentagon question 11 you can see we have cuboid here the diagram shows a cuboid on 1 cm square grid draw an accurate net of the cuboid one face has been drawn for you so we have this one face given here so if you look at the dimensions what are the dimensions we have length here 5 cm and width is 2.5 and height is 3 cm so every uh, this uh, face will have uh, two two faces right so this one is 1 2 3 4 and 5 
and this is 2.5 right so 5 and 2.5 so next should be 5 and 3 so this is 5 and then we should have 3 here so 5 this is 1 2 half is this the another one will also go as a half so that will be 5 and 3 so we have here 5 we should have two faces one is already there uh, one we have to draw the second one we are drawing is 5 times 3 uh, this is 5 and then we, I will take here 3 here so let's draw this one in the middle here like this in the middle here then uh, we have to take 3 right here so this one will go here we are going to join this one okay now we are done with this face one two the, now this face will come again here because this and this face will be parallel so 2.5 and this is 2.5 again it will come over here so this face is 5 times 2.5 so this is 5 times 3 so then again the next one will be 5 times 2.5 So this is also this is parallel to this one this is 5.25 so this is also 5 by 2.5 so this these two phases are complete right so now 5 3 again by this we should have the parallel to this one so this should be uh, of 3 right so again by 3 uh, 5 by 3 so 5 is this one 3 will come here so like this so yeah so this phase will be parallel to this one 5 times 3 and this and this are parallel now we have uh, we are done with 5 times this 5 by 2.5 5 by 3 two faces now we need two faces of uh, 3 by 2.5 3 by 2.5 so 3 is here 2.5 will uh, can come this side because this is 2.5 so we should have 2.5 here also 2.5 will come in this side 3 is here 2.5 is half of that so that means uh, you should have uh, in the middle on both sides 2.5 2.5 will be uh, two full squares and one half of this here this side also two full and one half right similarly here two on both sides one two this half of this one two half of this okay then we join this one So this will is going to be parallel to this one. This is 3 by 2.5. This is also 3 by 2.5. Now question 12. We have here. Uh, the stem and leaf diagram shows the age in years of each of 15 women. Right, we have this uh, stem and leaf diagram here. Key is here. 31 represents 31 years. So now complete these uh, statements. The model age is what is model age? Model age is like the most occurred. Okay, so most occurred. If you look around here, so we can see only this number is repeating twice other numbers are coming once only so what is this this one is 41 so the model age will be 41 okay now the median age the for the median age uh, we need to find out the middle number so we will start uh, cutting from the um, uh, beginning uh, one two three four one two three four then one one here one one 
this and this is gone what is left here 3 so which is 43 so the median is 43 okay now uh, the percentage of women that are older than 51 years so older than 51 so 50 it is here uh, 50 is here so older than 50 is are these three only so older than 50 it is three and so it will be three out of how many they are 15 and we are looking for the percentage times 100 so that will give you the percentage so uh, we can simplify this one so three times five and five times two here is 20 so final answer will be 20 percent right now number 13 uh, the price of coat is 84.60 euros. Uh, find the price of the coat in dollars when the exchange rate is. So we are given the exchange rate. 1 euro is equal to dollar 1.15. And we are looking for 84.6 euros will be how many dollars. So just cross multiply this one. So this is x times 1 equals to 1.15 times 84.60. So when you calculate this one, so this comes out to be 97.29. Right? Very simple. Now, number 14, workout. So we have these uh, vectors here. We are just going to add them because there is plus sign 3 minus 5 and this will be negative 2 7 so 3 minus 5 it is negative 2 and then this will be 5 so answer is negative 2 and 5 this is one more question now number 4 we have 5 5 will be multiplied to both of them so this is going to be 5 times 3 and 5 times negative 1 so this is 15 and this will be negative 5 so our answer is 15 and negative 5 so that's it for this video uh, remaining question we will do in the next video I hope you guys understood everything uh, so if there is anything you can let me know in the comment section i will try to explain it again thank you so much for watching please like press the like button if you like the video and share it with your friends god bless you guys all the best for your exams thanks for watching